Hi, right, Shockwise fans. We're going to watch something here called The Bermuda Depths. Let's check it out. Our movie starts out with a guy on a beach, and that is Connie Selica in her acting debut. They're in Bermuda, and this is a flashback with them as children finding a turtle egg. And then we see the girl, her name is Jenny, going off into the water with a giant turtle, leaving Magnus. We see another flashback here. This is some sort of scientist, and he's on this same island. It's actually Magnus's father in here. Fast forward again. That little boy, Magnus, has grown up. And that's Carl Weathers. Burl Ives is Dr. Paulus. Magnus's father was searching for why animals are getting gigantic there. That evening, Magnus is looking out into the water. And he sees something. Looks like a girl. Obviously, that's Connie Selica again. She rescues him, pulls him out. I was near. And you were struggling. Could that be the girl from when he was a kid? And when he turns his back, she goes. What's your name? Jenny! Jenny Hanover! It's a Jenny Hanover. <laughs> Apparently Jenny Hanover's not a real thing. It's a fraud. A sea monster made from cured and dried sea life. They've been selling around here to the superstitious and the gullible for centuries. We all know her. She's been with us a long time. She says... Be wary of her. She's evil. We get the real story about her. She apparently prayed to the devil to live. The devil grant her a wish as she jumped in the water. Everybody else drowned. She will stay in the water forever and be beautiful. They find giant tracks on the beach, which looks like a massive giant turtle. You know, that's nine, ten. That's almost ten feet for one flipper. He recognizes her as the friend he had when he was a boy. Eric and Dr. Paula start on the boat. They've caught something, but it's too big. Meanwhile, Magnus swims with Jenny. She takes him to an underground cave. Dr. Paulus doesn't want anything to do with killing that turtle. Alright, All right, I'm on my own. Eric. Just... Yeah, we get our first glimpse of the giant turtle. Some of that turtle is connected to Jenny. Now this is the net underwater and it looks like he's caught Jenny. Well damn, better shoot her with a dart then. Yep, he nailed her. Magnus, wait a minute, huh? Now you gotta get a grip on what 
years and what, eh? You know, don't you tell me about years and years. There's no little girl. You were a lonely kid, and you made up your own play. Hell, there is nothing to that. Now looks like Eric has the turtle in his sights. Somebody's crawling on their boat. Somebody with long fingernails. Yes, that somebody was, of course, Jenny. She wants him to let the turtle go. Let it go. What? Cut the cable. Marine Paul is out there searching. Marine Pile Station. No shot. No shot. This is Paulus. Yes, I can hear you. Find the turtle. Or the turtle finds them. And Jenny's not normal. So much for their boat. But Magnus is okay. But what about Eric? Trying to pull him on, but he's actually attached by some wires to the turtle. Turtle swims off and pulls pulls Eric with him, and down goes Apollo Creed. Magnus washes ashore. Jenny follows. And as our movie ends, we zoom in on a grave, another grave in that graveyard there. And we see the grave of the mysterious Jenny Hanover. Alright, let's talk about The Bermuda Depths. It's a movie that I actually have a pre-recorded VHS tape of. It's a very rare tape, actually. I think it came out on video, like, in the very early 90s. Um, kind of towards the tail ends of why it came out, I don't even know. There was certainly no call for it. But it's the kind of movie that I was made for television in 1970. It's the kind of movie that people saw and they remembered it because it was a little bit spooky and um, it's kind of rare. So there you go. So anyway, uh, it stars uh, Lee McCloskey, uh, Burl Lives, Carl Weathers, and of course Connie Selica in her uh, acting debut, actually. She was 23 years old. Anyway, um, there's this guy, Magnus, Lee McCloskey, who comes... To Bermuda to investigate uh, or to look up to see why his father died years earlier. He grew up on on this island and he's been away at school and doing some other things. So he comes back and he meets up with Eric, played by Carl Weathers, and Dr. Paulus, played by Burl Ives. Well, he also encounters this girl in the water, Connie Selica, and learns that her name is Jenny Hanover. Um, when he asked anybody around the area about Jenny Hanover, they said Jenny Hanover is not real. Uh, Burl Ives said uh, it's just kind of a, a given name that people give to uh, little trinkets that people buy. It's kind of like a fraud joke type of thing. Meanwhile, there's this older woman who's like the housekeeper at one of the island homes. She says Jenny Hanover was a real person, and she sold her soul to the devil uh, years earlier when she was on a boat, like like a couple hundred years earlier when she was on a boat that was about to capsize uh, in the ocean. And she basically prayed to the devil, hey, it's spare me, let everybody else drown. And the devil answered and said, jump in the water, and you will be uh, one with the water. You can live here forever, and you'll be pretty and beautiful forever and ever and ever. So... Anyway, it's also she's connected to this giant turtle that lives under the water. Now, uh, Mang Mangus's father was investigating uh, why some animals around there grow to be gigantic, and somehow he died in the process. It's obviously that giant turtle he was interested in. So uh, all these people are looking for this giant turtle in the water. They do manage to catch it at one point, although they don't really have it caught. It's kind of on a hook or a rope. They have it kind of netted up, but uh, they can't really like reel it in or anything. And they end up uh, the turtle ends up dragging... Uh, the boat, the boat kind of capsizes. Um, Magnus survives. He gets on a raft. Carl Weathers, Eric, is a tied to the turtle. He gets dragged under and he drowns. Um, prior to that, Jenny had got up on the boat and told, uh, told Magnus, cut the cable, let it go, let it go. She's some sort of devil type thing now. She's got these glowing eyes. Well, anyway, it ends. It ends with, uh, Magnus getting washed up on shore. Uh, Jenny 
I don't know if she helped them on shore or not, but she left him, went back in the water. The last scene is uh, Magnus in the graveyard visiting his father's grave and mother's grave too. And uh, of course, Eric is dead now also. So is uh, Burl Ives. Uh, he died in a helicopter crash when he ran into the giant turtle. And uh, he says, I'm never going to go back in the water again. And then they zoom in on a grave, which says Jenny Hanover lost at sea. And it said 1705, I think was the date on it. So anyway, that's the movie. Now, again, like I said, I had a very rare pre-recorded VHS tape of it. It was very sought after in the early 2000s. I'm glad I got it. That's when I watched the movie originally. I hadn't seen it since. I didn't remember a damn thing about it. Like I said, it was made for television February 1st, 1978, I think it came out. Um, but thanks to the people at Warner Archive, they have put this thing out on DVD. So you can get this. Now, maybe it's on Blu-ray too. I'm not sure. But I'll have a link down below to one or the other, depending on what you can get. I'll do Blu-ray if it's there. If not, it's the DVD. So anyway, it's about 97 minutes long. And it's, it's a decent film, actually, for what it is. A decent cast. And I always like Burl Ives, too. So there you go. Lee McCloskey was in a film called Fraternity Vacation, which I'll be uploading very shortly as well. So anyway, check it out. The Bermuda Depths. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below. Watch it. Bye.